Top 10 Most Beautiful Presidential Palace in Africa Presidential palaces are among popular tourist attractions due to their beautiful construction and architecture. It exhibits the quality of the nation, yet in addition, the influence or abundance of the man in power. In Africa, the presidential royal residences are acclaimed for being lovely. Investigations of presidential royal residences in Africa have intrigued numerous analysts. It is always expected that these buildings of great significance and importance are magnificent enough to rank with the best in the country and around the world. A lot of presidential palaces are sites worth beholding, and here are the top 10 most beautiful presidential palaces in Africa. Number 10. State House, Kampala, Uganda. State House is the official home of the President of Uganda. Located at Entebbe, 40 km south of Kampala, capital of Uganda, it is neighboring a formal H-molded structure which facilitated the Queen of England on her visit to Uganda for the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. The State House had a few redescents with a task, cost at roughly $1.6 million. One of the reasons it was renovated was to use it for guests during CHOGM in 2007, including the Queen of England, who among others was given a state bouquet at the complex. State House is not just a residence. It has so many amenities that make it almost self-sustaining. Among these include offices for State House employees, including the State House controller, offices for the First Lady, communications office, security office, offices for the various presidential advisors and many more. There are also several conference halls, guest wings, health clubs and recreation facilities. The new State House, which now dwarfs and occupies a big part of Entebbe's area has also got a conference hall that can sit at least 500 delegates. Number 9. The Flagstaff House, Accra, Ghana. This interesting building showstopper is the habitation and office of the President of Ghana. The Flagstaff House was reconstructed and introduced by the administration of President John Ejiakum Kuthor. The expense of the development was around $45 million to $50 million and was supervised by an Indian contractual worker. The Flagstaff House was reconstructed and inaugurated by the government of John Ejiakum Kufa, with the name Golden Jubilee House in November 2008, when construction was about 70% to 80% completed. In January 2009, the incoming government of President John Atta Mills moved the office of the president back to Osu Castle and later changed the sign in front of the building back to its original name claiming that the previous government had not used a legislative instrument to affect the changes required by law. The Mills government was in turn criticized that the name Flagstaff House, which was given to the building by the British Gold Coast government, glorifies Ghana's Gold Coast past. The seat of government was moved back to Flagstaff House in January 2013. Number 8. Presidential Palace, Nouakchott, Mauritania. With the elegant white vintage and extensive gardens beautifying it, the Presidential Palace Mauritania is one of the most beautiful in Africa. Mauritania's presidential castle is situated in the focal point of the city, northwest of the Lebanese International University, and adjoining the US government office. It is made to sit on broad grounds and excellent gardens, and is unquestionably the most terrific milestone in the city. This site houses the president of Mauritania, and is the principal administrative office of the government of Mauritania. It was built by Chinese contractors. Number 7. Ivaloha Palace, Antanana River, Madagascar. Madagascar is another country with two presidential palaces in Africa after Ivory Coast. Ambahit Sirohitra Palace and Ivaloha Palace. Located 15 kilometers from the capital, the Ivaloha Palace is huge. It has always been painted white and its architecture is almost identical to that of the Queen's Palace in Manjakamia Dana, sovereign of Madagascar in the 19th century. It is often the object of curiosity on the part of tourists passing through Antanana River, so beautiful it is. Number 6. 
Union Buildings, Pretoria, South Africa. Just like an ancient temple adorning the city it governs, the Union Buildings are a modern-day citadel, built at the highest point of South Africa's capital city, Pretoria. It forms the official seat of South Africa's government and houses the presidency as well as the Department of Foreign Affairs. With its vast gardens, the buildings are located in Pretoria and constitute a South African National Heritage Site. These remarkable buildings, built from light sandstone, were designed by the architect Sir Herbert Baker in the English monumental style, and are 285 meters long. It has become an iconic landmark of Pretoria and South Africa in general, and is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Africa. Number 5. The Unity Palace, Yeo and Cameroon. The Unity Palace is the name of the residence of the head of state of Cameroon, Paul Biya, who has been living there since 1982. It is located in Yeoande, more precisely in Atadi. The Unity Palace also houses most of the services related to the Presidency of the Republic and the General Secretariat of the Republic. Its shape, its architecture and its presence illuminate all the political capital of Cameroon. Designed by Clement Olivier Kakaba Franco Tunisian, the main building sits in the middle of this complex that stretches over several hectares above a hill. Number 4. Presidential Palace, Dhaka, Senegal. The Palace of the President of Senegal is considered a historic house. It was the official residence of the Governor General of French West Africa, located in the plateau district of Dhaka, capital city of Senegal. The palace, the construction of which was commissioned in 1902 by Gaston Dalmerg, Minister of Colonies at the time, was initially built to accommodate the Governor General of French West Africa who was living in Saint Louis, in the capital. The construction of the presidential palace in Dhaka started in 1902 by Gaston Dalmerg who was then Minister of the Colonies living in Saint Louis, and intended staying in the capital as the Governor of French West Africa at the time. With the classic white outlook and spacious gardens beautifying it, Presidential Palace, Dhaka, Senegal, is one of the most beautiful sites in Africa. Number 3. Presidential Palace, Khartoum, Sudan. Sudan's presidential palace, also known as Gordon's Palace, is very historical. The name was derived from her governor, while still a British colony, General Charles Gordon. Unfortunately, he was decapitated on the stairway in the northwestern corner of the palace on 26 January 1885. Since then, it has continued to serve as the official residence of Sudan's president until this year, when the construction of a new palace by the Chinese was completed right next door the old palace. The new palace was officially opened on the 26th of January, 2015. On the exact date, Charles Gordon was beheaded on the white stairs of the old palace 130 years back. Both palaces are adorned with invaluable relics, antiques, and beautiful flowers, and are located on Blue Nile Street adjacent to the Palace Museum in Khartoum. Number 2. State House of Namibia. The State House of the Republic of Namibia, constructed on an elevated platform, and bordered by a 2 kilometer long steel fence, with dark glass towers, and large guardrooms is a castle, or better still, stronghold. It covers 25 hectares of land, and is located in the Orasblik suburb of Windhoek. This breathtaking site is the administrative capital of Namibia, as well as the official residence of the President of Namibia. The State House was designed by the North Korean company, Mansudi Overseas Projects. It is reported, that the administrative building, cost a staggering 400 million Namibian dollars, and took approximately 66 months to construct. Number 1. Abdeen Palace, Cairo, Egypt. Abdeen Palace is a historic Cairo palace considered to be one of the most luxurious palaces in the world. 
It has very exotic embellishments, paintings, and a large number of clocks scattered in the pollas and wings, most of which are decorated with pure gold. It is located on Kasser El Nil Street in eastern downtown Cairo, Egypt. It was the royal residence until the monarchy was abolished in 1952. The palace has 500 suites and is the official residence and main office of the president of Egypt. Those are the most beautiful presidential palace in Africa. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications for more interesting videos.